This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the structure of proteins. Proteins are long chain molecules, known as polymers, composed of amino acids, which are the monomers. The primary structure of a protein refers to the sequence of amino acids in the polypeptide chain. The bond responsible for the primary structure is the peptide bond or the amide link, which you can see here. The secondary structure of a protein refers to the folding of the polypeptide chain as a result of hydrogen bonding. Here we can see the hydrogen bonds between the oxygen and the hydrogen atom. The two types of secondary structure are the alpha helix and the beta pleated sheet. The tertiary structure of proteins refers to the twisting and folding of the secondary structure to form a specific 3D shape. This is as a result of the interactions between the side chains of the amino acids. Here we can see the interactions between the side chains that give the protein its specific 3D shape. We have hydrogen bonding, hydrophobic interactions, disulfide bridges, ionic bonds and peptide bonds. Next we look at these interactions in more detail. Starting with hydrophobic interactions, which are London dispersion forces between non-polar side chains. Next, we have hydrogen bonding between polar side chains. Ionic bonding between charged side chains. Next are disulfide bridges, which are covalent bonds between the side chains of cysteine, which contain a sulfhydryl group. And finally, we have peptide bonds between a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, and a nitrogen bonded to a hydrogen. The quaternary structure of proteins refers to the interactions between polypeptide chains. An example is hemoglobin that has a quaternary structure composed of four polypeptide chains, which you can see here. So let's end with a summary. We have the protein structure and the type of bonds and interactions. Starting with the primary structure, we have peptide bonds or amide links between individual amino acids. The secondary structure has hydrogen bonding. The tertiary structure has London dispersion forces, ionic bonds, hydrogen bonds, disulfide bridges, which are covalent bonds, and peptide bonds or amide links. And in the quaternary structure, the interactions between the polypeptide chains are the same as those found in the tertiary structure. So that's all from this video, don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.